In that wonderful Harper Lee novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, it's, it's my favorite. There's also one of my favorite characters, Atticus Finch. He's a country lawyer in a small Alabama town, and he sends his son, his young boy, Jem, to read every afternoon to a neighbor, Mrs. Dubois. She's dying of cancer. She's in horrible pain, but she refuses to take the morphine the doctor ordered because she wanted to die beholding to nothing and nobody, she says. On the evening of that first night, she dies, and Atticus explains to Jeb why he sent him to her to read. I wanted you to see something about her, says Atticus. I wanted you to see what real courage is instead of getting the idea that courage is a man with a gun in his hand. It's when, you licked, when you're licked before you start, but you begin anyway. It's when you're in pain, when you're in suffering, and you keep going on. Now that's what real courage is. Mrs. Dubois was one of the most courageous and bravest person I ever knew. When we go looking for heroes, for bravery, for courage, and often, we look in the wrong places. Its practitioners are simple, and it's ordinary folk who carry on in the midst of life's most horrible and difficult circumstances. We have courageous people here at St. John Newman, but we often don't see them.